In this Border Connect tutorial, I'll show you how to use Border Connect's US Inbound Manager, how to send inbound status queries, and how to arrive and export inbound shipments. Once you've registered for the US Inbound Manager and you're logged in, hover over the US Inbound's menu option at the top and click Inbound Dashboard, where you'll be brought to the Inbound Dashboard page. This page provides a full listing of all US Inbound shipments that you've requested status updates for, or Inbound shipments associated to AC manifests created in Border Connect. The information seen at a glance include the inbound entry numbers, the current status of the inbounds, the type of inbounds, the destination port, bill of lading number, timestamps on when the most recent information was provided, and a view link to see the detailed inbound information. So let's click into this inbound. This brings you to the inbound report details page. From here, you can see all of your bond information at a glance including the report history, where it shows sent messages and responses from CBP. You can also view the bill of lading details for this bond or if any container numbers were associated with it. You can also transmit bill of lading specific updates under the actions column here. Once you have a new US inbound shipment that you'd like to eventually arrive and potentially export, you'll first need to send an inbound status query to bring it into the US inbound dashboard. To do this, go back to the inbound dashboard and at the top of the page, Click Send Inbound Status Query. You'll be brought to the Send Inbound Status Query page. Now, enter your inbound entry number, and then click Send Inbound Status Query to CBP. After the query has been sent, you'll be brought back to the inbound dashboard, and in about 60 seconds, you'll get a response, where your inbound will most likely be moved to four blue bars, indicating that the bond is now en route, and it's been authorized for movement. And once you've confirmed that the inbound shipment has been successfully delivered to its inbound destination, you can report its arrival to CBP. To do this, view the inbound from the dashboard and you'll be brought to the inbound report details page. Now, at the top, under Update and Bond, click Arrive Entire Inbound. Now you're on the Send Inbound Arrival message page, where you can see that your entry number and destination port is already populated for you. So, enter the firm's code or location the inbound is arriving at then the inbound arrival date and time. Once the details have been entered, go to the top and hover over Send Inbound Arrival Message to CBP and click the first option, Send Inbound Arrival Message to CBP. And in approximately 60 seconds, you'll get a response, letting you know that your arrival request has been accepted and the status of your inbound will change to five green bars. If this was an immediate transportation bond, this will be all you have to do to close the bond with CBP. If you had a transportation and exportation bond, for example, you would also have to send an export entire inbound message to CBP once the bond was exported to its foreign destination. To export an inbound, click into your arrived inbound shipment from the dashboard. And once you're in the inbound report details page, hover over update entire inbound and click export entire inbound, where you'll be brought to the send inbound export message page. Here you can see that your entry number has already been populated. So enter the export date and time. Then, Click Send Inbound Export Message to CBP. Once it's sent, you'll be brought back to the Inbound Report Details page. In about 60 seconds, CBP will accept your export message and your inbound will be reported as exported, where nothing more needs to be done and your bond is now closed. A neat time-saving feature of Border Connect's US Inbound Manager is the ability to link ACI e-manifests to US inbounds to automatically close them once they arrive in Canada. To enable this feature, you'll first need to be registered for ACI e-manifest. You'll also need to be registered for the U.S. Inbound Manager and have a U.S. bonded shipment with its destination in Canada. To set up a U.S. Inbound to automatically close when arriving in Canada, you'll first need to create an ACIE manifest in Border Connect. And you'll also need to send an Inbound status query for the Inbound shipment. Once the ACIE manifest is created and the U.S. Inbound is en route, view your ACIE manifest. Then, navigate down to the section U.S. Inbound Scheduled for Automatic Close. Now, on the right side, enter the U.S. inbound entry number and it'll pop up. Just click it and you'll be brought to the Auto Close Inbound by ACI Trip page. Here, everything's already pre-filled for you, so just enter the CBP Port of Exit firm's code. Then, click Save. And that's it. Your U.S. inbound will now be automatically arrived and exported once the ACI arrives at the Canadian Port of Entry. Hi. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Subscribe below for more videos like this. Or sign up to Border Connect for a free 45-day trial using special promo code EASY45. Thanks for watching.